Hello everyone, I am Dr. Prince, Department of English. It is very nice to see you through this uh, video. Today, we are going to discuss about uh, the antagonist in uh, Shakespeare plays. Uh, before entering into the concept, uh, I want to uh, convey a small thing about uh, the antagonist. Uh, what can we call this antagonist? Uh, in each and every uh, Shakespeare plays, uh, the major role will be played by the protagonist and uh, the lady lover also gives uh, much importance. Uh, antagonist is uh, nothing but uh, who plays the opposite role and who is very powerful, uh, e very equal to the male major characters. Uh, particularly, uh, I want to quote from uh, the movie called Bahubali. That is how uh, Mahindra Bahubali is very powerful. Uh, the same power and the same equality has been given to the character called Balwal Tevan, who is very, very powerful, uh, equal to the protagonist called uh, Mahindra Bahubali. And uh, today, that is uh, antagonist of Shakespeare plays. Uh, that is uh, what can be called as antagonist. Antagonist uh, who is very uh, powerful and who often have brutal behavior, uh, who is very, very uh, poor in uh, their character. That is uh, the first character is uh, the name called uh, Arun the Moor. That is who is Arun the Moor. The Arun the Moor comes from the play called Titus Andronicus. Uh, that is, uh, he is a irreligious Moor. That is, irreligious Moor means uh, who is not cultivated, uh, who is, uh, it is can be called as. Uh, who is not cultured just like an uncultivated land. If a land is there which is uncultivated, that particular land could not be used for any purpose. Similarly, this particular man is uncultured, who is not properly cultured. And what kind of deeds he often used to have means this particular man is an example for getting pleasures by seeing others' difficulties, others' pain. So who can be called as a sadist, who is very often to kill, who is very often to take revenge by seeing the good people's conditions. So this man is beautifully portrayed by Shakespeare called Arun the Moor who is a very very brutal villain in the play called Titus Andronicus. Next I want to talk about the character called Tamora in the same play called that is Titus Andronicus. Who is Tamora? Tamora is nothing but the girl who belongs to the character called Titus, who is the wife of Titus and uh, who little fell in love with uh, the character called uh, Arun the Moor and she wanted to take revenge, particularly her even uh, her own husband uh, after losing her uh, elder uh, son. So how she did all his uh, brutal deeds is uh, who is very poor, beautifully portrayed by Shakespeare. This particular girl is often doing all kind of uh, unwanted things by her uh, sensuality and the ability to manipulate others. Uh, that is manipulation means uh, through her intelligence uh, who often used to manipulate uh, the others uh, doing very very beautifully and this particular girl is uh, the symbol of uh, sensuality and the symbol of uh, manipulating others. Uh, so this girl is very very yeah, brutal villain and uh, who is very equal to the character called uh, Arun the Moor. These both characters uh, play a very dominant role and they were bro very very brutal villains in the particular play called the Titus Andronicus. Next I want to I would like to convey about the many the main important character called Iago that is who is Iago and who is very popular in the world famous tragedies of Shakespeare particularly in Othello that is Iago is a man of jealous and he is a man of evil hearted and he is a man of malicious things. So why he is jealous? By seeing the love between Othello and Desimona, he often find a kind of jealous thing inside his heart. So he wanted to that is ruin the life of this particular beautiful couple, Othello and Desimona. He did so many brutal deeds. He did so many unwanted things. So this particular man is a symbol of evil hearted and malicious. So he is the main root cause and he is the main cause for the death of Desdemona. So this particular man is a symbol of brutal villain in Shakespeare plays. Next I would like to talk about Richard III and Richard III 
comes from uh, the character called Richard Third in the play Richard Three. It is a historical play, and he is a king. He is a king, and who is noted for his cold-hearted uh, brutality and manipulating others uh, with his intelligence. Uh, that is often he is very intelligent, uh, and with his intelligence uh, he is manipulating. He is uh, having the ability to manipulate all the people who wanted to have some kind of unwanted things with him. Uh, so this particular man is a symbol of. Uh, cold hearted brutal villain and uh, that is uh, manipulating with others uh. so the last one character called claudius uh, in the particular play called uh, hamlet so who is claudius uh, Cla claudius is uh, the brother of uh, king hamlet and uh, he is a villain who always value for money and who value always for material things uh. and this particular man is the husband of jetrude uh, who is the wife of uh, hamlet uh. so he is a man who kills even his own brother for lust and money and power. So this particular man is noted for his villainous deed by taking the Duncan's life and his wife. So all these characters are very very dominant and they are very equal and they were given very equal rights to the heroes of Shakespeare. We can see the remaining villains of Shakespeare in the next video. Thank you so much.